Hey, in this episode, I'm going to be feeding my bees. I'm going to share with you guys what I came up with that makes the job a lot simpler and healthy for the bees. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. I'm here in the carport for a reason. Uh, what I have before me, I'll explain the reason here in a minute. What I have before me is uh, products that I resourced off my homestead and then ran down to the market and purchased to be able to put some food together for the bees. As we're getting into early fall, uh, it's time to start feeding your bees. Uh, I got a five gallon bucket. I've got some straw. Um, I've got some sugar. And I've got this product called Pro Health, which we're going to add to the uh, sugar uh, syrup uh, for the bees' health. Now, you want to remove your honey supers if you're going to be feeding your bees this, okay? So the reason why I'm in here is because I have the shower, the external shower connection, which gives me hot water from the RV, so I can add hot water to the sugar compound, and it, it'll emulsify the sugar a lot easier using warm water. So let's put it together, and I know what you're asking, the, uh, what, what, what the straws for. Well, I'll show you. This is a 25 pound bag of sugar, and I'm gonna go ahead and add the whole 25 pounds bag of sugar to this five gallon bucket. Eat the whole thing. Look how much it fills the bucket up to. Now I'm gonna add hot water to this. <laughs> I had to put it within reach of my shower. We're just going to fill the bucket with hot water and we're going to stir this sugar and make sure it's nice and emulsified and melted and it makes a nice sh uh, syrup. Now for this you want one to one, one part sugar, one to part water. Now before I add any more uh, water to this compound, I'm going to add um, some of this Pro Health. I'm going to shake it really good, get all the ingredients infused throughout the whole formula. And this calls for almost a whole cup. There's one quarter cup. And there's a little bit more than a quarter cup. We mix it in.
And now the mystery of why the straw is present. I'm going to put the straw in the bucket and the straw will float on top of the water. So when the bees crawl in here, they can land on the straw, walk on the straw and stick their little tongues down through the straw and soak up or suck up the uh, syrup. And so that's the method which I come up with to be able to feed the bees safely without drowning them. Now, I got a little clip I'm going to put right here on the lip and we're going to put the lid over it and once we get in the bee yard we'll put a weight over the top of this so it leaves an opening so the bees can come and go outside the lip but it protects the ingredients if we should have a rainfall or from bigger animals. So let's get this to the bee yard. That's a nice level spot. Now we'll just sit back and wait and give the bees time to find out where this is at. We'll check back on them later and see how active the feeder is. Uh, we'll be right back in a video second. Okay, with this setting here for a couple of hours because I went off and did something else. A hint with that something else is um, I'm uh, filming another episode today and it's on harvesting and canning my famous zesty spicy dill pickles which my family loves yeah these are so great i give them out as christmas gifts and people are so pleased to get them but we're talking about bees and what i told you guys about this feeder yeah the bees will find their way they'll figure it out the uh one of the scout bees will fly back to the hive and do her wiggle walk and the wiggle dance and show everybody where the new food is fortunately it's right here yes look at this some bees are licking the sugar resid residue off the top yeah they're getting the sugar wherever they can but look at this people look at that let me show you what's inside these girls know exactly what to do they don't drown, they have the straw to go cling to, and they can tap into all of that uh, sugar water that's under there. Yeah, this is gonna feed them for a couple of weeks. No problem. And it'll feed all the hives. So this is a uh, centralized one uh, point um, feeding station, which I, I actually gleaned this I, I forgot where I gleaned it. Could have been YouTube because I do watch different YouTube videos on beekeeping. Uh, but I was really impressed with how this turned out. And I'm going to do this from now on. This is so simple, so inexpensive, so easy. And you can feed your whole colony of bees. You can put several of these five gallon buckets out and feed even a bigger colony and you don't need any fancy equipment to do it with. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this 
homestead hack at an easy beekeeping feeder to feed the honeybees with. We, uh, I'll be doing this through uh, as the weather turns really cold and wet and I'll do uh, a different type of feed inside the hives and of course I'll have my new building built by then so stay tuned for those episodes and I also have to do mite control on these uh, hives and then uh, grab the rest of the honey in a couple of days from the other two honey supers and then I've got to remove those honey supers and harvest what honey I can hopefully I can get something I already got eight frames of honey eight jars of honey what you know that's a bonus and I split a hive in a previous video uh, so I'm continuing to grow my bees and we'll see who overwinters successfully we'll take those we'll split those in the spring and make more hives and we'll start selling them and uh, you know my motto save the bees save the world I'm your host Jerry Hansen here at Pine Meadows Hobby Farm, a humble beekeeper, uh, striving to save the bees so I could save the world. I'm just doing my little part in this. Wow, most successful year in beekeeping I have ever had, ever. Nice. Stay tuned to more videos. You could do that by subscribing, then giving a, uh, uh, clicking that bell icon that alerts you to new videos as I do upload them. Hey. Click that thumbs up button, like the show, and also uh, click that share button. Sharing our videos on your social media platforms really helps us a lot. I'm uploading my videos to several social media platforms uh, so people can enjoy the content that I produce here on um, this channel. Be safe, please, folks, always, and I can't emphasize this enough, please always be kind. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye now.